March the 3rd. That's where I'm standing right now. Uh, so I weighed in just a second ago. And it said 194.8. So that's where I'm at. Let's see. Let's see what it says right now. <laughs> cool. So I almost gained a pound since then <laughs> by uh, brushing my teeth, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so 194.8. Not uh, exactly where I want to be. Going to be making some adjustments coming up, and I'll uh, talk to you about that over uh, over some food. All right, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so weighed in a little bit more than what I expected, but uh, since I only have a few weeks left, um, just kind of give you an idea, I just got some weddings and whatnot coming up these next few months, so it's going to be kind of busy few months for me, but uh, I just want to get to like a comfortable weight, so that way then I could just kind of maintain, and then... Um, We'll see what the summer brings us. Maybe some some other stuff going on, but so I'm gonna start including a little bit more cardio and um, gonna just cut calories a bit. So I'm gonna be at 2,200 now. Start at 2,400, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go to 2,200. What I'm gonna start including, which I already kind of have, is before all my workouts, I'm just going to just burn like 100 calories. Uh, just kind of as a warm-up and uh, if you haven't done it for it actually uh, it works pretty well because you kind of kind of gets the blood flowing and makes you feel not as tight when you're starting your workouts um, so that's what I'm gonna kind of start doing to combat that anyways got that omelet on deck though coffee of course and then, if you don't know, if you haven't watched the video, I'll link it again. Go watch it. Go like it. Fish oil. Glucosamine. Chondroitin. Vitamin C. And a multi. Leave me alone, because I'm going to eat. Alright guys, I'm here at Pizza Rev. And... That's what I got on my pizza. Basically a little bit of everything. Nice thing about uh, this place is that you could go on their website and calculate exactly what you're going to get and get your full macros. Um, so if you guys remember from um, Enrique from last week, he's uh, he's here with me today. So his brother, but we're, uh, we're going to, uh, I just showed him how to add macros. We were deciding on a place to eat and he didn't want to come here originally because he thought it was going to be like a lot of fat and carbs but it ended up being a lot less than he thought here he is and then uh that's what he got on his pizza i don't think he got anything out of the ordinary just like what'd you get chicken and meatball a double chicken meatball and then and just the veggies veggies and uh low fat cheese and uh that's his brother moy over there he just got yogurt land we're myron yeah, so that's it. That's my only my second meal. So, but it took up a lot of my fats because I got a lot of meatballs. See you guys in a bit. Hi right, guys, we just got out of Pizza Rev. I didn't want to uh, do too much recording because uh, hopefully you can see. 
Some people sat like right behind us. <laughs> like the whole restaurant was empty and they just sat like literally to like to the right of my elbow. Enrique, like I touched on, he uh, was having second guesses about going there because he's kind of just used to that, you know, clean eating and whatnot. Bro diet. Bro dieting, quote unquote. And uh, we're just kind of not trying to get him out of that mentality, but trying to uh, show him and explain to him how he could uh, enjoy other foods and just kind of make it work within his macronutrient goals. Enrique, what do you think? He's driving, so he can't really turn around. But uh, what do you th what do you think of that so far? Like, what did you think as far as when we were, uh, you know, when I suggested pizza? pizza? Um, well, I'm not used to it, first of all, so it kind of like throws me off. But you know, it's kind of fun, or it's kind of different, and it's good at the same time because you could eat pretty much not everything, but you could enjoy yourself. And you keep uh, when you're on that bro diet, like you have a lot of cravings. And you just want to eat everything. When you're eating it like this, you're still losing weight and you're cutting, but you still get to enjoy all that. So I, I, it cuts down the cravings for me. Yeah, like he was mentioning that, <clears throat> that he's like, I feel like I'm cheating right now. And I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, the the thing about it is, is it's just, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's like nothing that we didn't learn in, in grade school. <laughs> it's basically portion control. So if we eat a lot of that, then we'll have to eat a little bit less later. But... Um, with this also uh, we just have to make sure to hit our you know protein goals and fat goals because we don't want to just hit our calorie total for the day and uh, and it'd be like all carbs and fat and us not getting any uh, protein because you know we're trying to get them gains bro but try to get some gym footage in tonight and I'll either see you then or I'll see you at the next meal Okay guys, so unfortunately I did not get a lot of exercises recorded. I only got two actually. Uh, the first one is a uh, front uh, front dumbbell lateral raise. And I like to do this. I like to switch it up, but uh, I'm going to start doing this with my hand neutral. It's an exercise I used to do a lot and something I'll uh, be incorporating a lot more. Uh, so I did that, and then from there I went over and did some standing bent over rear delt raises. Man, that's a long name. That's going to conclude the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.